Hello everyone and welcome to Apollo Soundgarden. Today I'm going to tell you why I chose the Novation Launch Key Mini Mark III over the Akai MPK Mini Mark II to use with Logic Pro X. Alright, so today I wanted to talk to you about uh, why I have returned my Akai MPK Mini Mark II and got a, a Novation Launch Key Mini Mark III instead. Uh, so I got the Akai and used it for about three weeks uh, and the reason I got it in the first place and not uh, this one is because uh, I thought it would be simpler to use it with Logic Pro X because Novation advertised so much the how the Launch Key Mini is perfect to use with Ableton and it's fully integrated and I thought I would lose all those features it would just uh, they would just stay unused and then I thought it would be a bit of a waste so I got the Akai and a, bit, a few things uh, I was a bit disappointed with the pads actually they're, they're nice and big and you can you can really pound on them it's fun to play but they're not quite uh, as sensitive as I as I wanted so for some things for some light things uh, uh, it doesn't trigger every time and the other thing that I was really disappointed with Akai was the user interface, how unfriendly it is. So basically, uh, the Akai uh, out of the box, the keys will work with a piano, for example, in Logic, of course. And the pads, you need to map them to uh, this software using this software. So here you can pad each you can map each pad to a particular note and then you can send it to four different programs in your in your Akai MPK mini. However, uh, when you do send it, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes only one bank works. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. So I started sending it to two different programs. Sometimes one worked and the other one didn't for no reason. Uh, it used to uh, lose the settings and I had to redo them uh, every now and then. And this whole software is quite annoying. You have to completely exit your DAW uh, in order for this to work. Actually, even browser sometimes, if it's requesting uh, media information from, from your keyboard, might affect this as well so basically you need to close all software that deals with MIDI do this send and then close this software before you can open anything else so it was quite cumbersome then I got uh, well I got sick of it I said well uh, I don't care the launch key can't be worse and and I was right so today I'm gonna show you how to link it with logic and, and how easy it is to use it so first, first of all, we need to plug it in. When you install this uh, for the first time in your machine, you're going to go through a get started guide that Novation provides you, which is actually very handy. But the main thing is, uh, once, you, once you get here on this page, you get access to your products and then under your keyboard you get go to drivers and then here you will see a logic script installer so you download this and install it and then when you go to logic what you need to do to map your Novation Logic Key Mini is go to Logic Pro X control surfaces setup you see mine is already added here uh, you go to new to add a new one if you don't have it already which I guess is why you're here <laughs> install and then here you can find it from the list Novation Launch Key Mini and then add it I'm not gonna do it because I, I already have it don't scan just just add once you've added, make sure your output port and input port configurations are like this one you see on the screen. So both set to log Launch Key Mini Mark III DAW port. And then that's it. Now you should be able to have a full integration. Of course, you can see the key, 
keys work uh, the knobs this is quite interesting so if you press shift these these pads here light up green and then you can follow what the, what it says on the top here for what it what it does to the knobs so i can control for example uh, volume and then you can see in my DAW, I, the different knobs uh, control the different tracks. Same thing with pen. I can control the pen. And then you can use send and control your bus ports. So pretty simple with the knobs. This is something that you can, uh, the way I was using the Akai uh, was to just map the knobs individually to different to different uh, devices or to different things in, in logic that I wanted but there was really tiresome to do this all the time and with here you can get at least these uh, mixing uh, already mapped you can also map your device so if you press shift and device now when I open for example my drums you can see that my knobs now can control the, the, my device. So you got eight knobs, so of course that's your limit. Uh, after that, then there's no control. So here I go as far as, far as the percussion. But it's still really helpful. And there are a lot of plugins and devices that only have eight knobs anyway. So you're quite okay with that. The other thing I was happy and oh, it only mentioned uh, Novation usually only advertise this for Ableton, but you also get a session view here. And here you can see that my uh, two tracks show up on my pads. I can select if they are recording or not. And here I can mute them or I can select a solo function as well and I can solo them. So the only function missing from what you get in Ableton is uh, the stop function, which doesn't really make sense here in Logic. And you can also use the record and play buttons uh, to, control, to control your tracks. Yeah, which is really useful and you can also move between tracks by selecting shift and then the arpeggiator and fixed chord buttons the fixed chord is also quite interesting because uh, you can play any three notes and then it will remember that and then you can just play the root and it will play the rest of the chord for you so I'll show you what, it, what I mean So I just played a C major there, and now, now I'll play a major chord every note I, I play. The next function is the drum mode, and this function I actually uh, did not manage to get it working. So from the user guide, if you select the drum mode, then you select a drum kit in your logic, then you switch on the drum mode, but my pads just go silent. I do get input, just not from the pads. However, there's a custom mode here. So the solution that uh, Novation have, instead of this clumsy software that uh, the Akai provides, is a web-based uh, interface. And here you can see all kinds of presets that already comes with it, but you can also make new ones. So for example, if I go to major scale, uh, uh, A major, for example, this is already there. I can just send it to my Launch Mini and you can see that the colors change immediately. I didn't have to close my door or anything, it's just seamless. And then when I come here, and now I can... And now I have the A major scale in my piano. Uh, so what I did for the drums, because the drum mode is not working, I actually contacted Novation and they're trying to see what's the, what the problem is. But I'm not really missing at the moment because I've set up like this. So if you create a new preset, uh, you can actually select each note for each one of the pads. And you, you can also select uh, colors. So I got uh, 
green for for cymbals and hi hats and blue for toms and uh, and snares. I'm not sure if you can see uh, once I switch it. So if I send it to Launch Game Mini, yeah, this color's got a bit messy on the camera, but with this. I go back to Logic, and what I what I did actually, if you go here on your on your drum set, you can see each note corresponds to a different uh, drum part of the of your kit. So I just mapped it to how I wanted it to be, uh, as, so it would be comfortable for me to play. And I actually mapped the colors to help me remember where they were. So if you see here. So it's quite easy to, uh, the, the sensitivity is amazing. You can go like this. You can go really light with it. Yeah, and what you can do, because the pads are a bit smaller, is sometimes I double, so I have uh, symbol, uh, hi-hats, close hi-hats on two different pads, so I can Do like a shuffle with the uh, two hands it's easier than you can also do it in one but it starts getting a little bit uncomfortable but anyway i love it it's really good uh, and this is what i wanted uh, also by the way the pitch uh, and modulation strips here are much more convenient than the joystick in the akai because uh, well first off they are a lot more sensitive uh, you can actually jump directly to a specific point just by touching it, so I find that very useful sometimes. Uh, other than that, you get the arpeggiator function is uh, the same as the Akai, actually better because, uh, so if I turn on my arpeggiator, uh, I, can con I, I have the normal functions uh, or uh, parameters to set up like you would have in the Akai, but you also have this uh, knobs here where you can control the tempo, swing, and gate, mutate and deviate of your arpeggiator. Yeah, and you can change all the parameters. So, I hope this was useful for you. It is. It has been quite useful for me to use this one. Sometimes I miss the bigger pads because uh, with the Akai, sometimes it feels like you can actually get a drumstick and play on it because they're really sturdy and you can really hammer them with your hands and feel like you're playing an actual instrument. But the lack of sensitivity, uh, it, the the there's a lot of problems with the. Uh, lagging as well with the information so you, you hit the pad and then you will just uh, uh, get the inform the signal will get delayed to your DAW and then you can't play on time it's impossible so yeah I'm happy with this one thank you guys for listening I hope this was useful and see you on the next one